today we'll be creating an accounts payable invoice processing app, but let's start by creating an app titled accounting which we'll be using in the invoice app. Let's start by adding a new form titled approver. In here we'll add a text field titled name and email. Then a number field titled threshold. Finally, in this form we'll add a list field titled department with departments including accounting, acquisitions, and some more. Let's close out and add a new form titled currency. And in this form we'll add three text fields, currency code which is required, country, and description. Our last form in the app will be titled vendor. We'll add vendor company name, first name, last name, email address, city state, and phone number text fields. Now we can make our views, so let's click views and add a new view and title it approvers with type as approver and the following checked. Next we'll add a view titled currency with currency as the type and the following checked. The last view will be titled vendors with vendor as the type and the following checked. Let's go to user mode and start by adding a new vendor. We'll then add a new approver and a currency. We went ahead and added some more vendors, approvers, and currencies. Now let's start creating our invoice app by titling it Accounts Payable Invoice Processing Workflow Application, selecting Windows Metro as the theme, and clicking Create Application. We'll add a new form titled Invoice and start by adding a required text field titled Invoice Number. Then we'll add a date field titled Payment Due Date. Next, a combo box titled Currency, with Accounting as a System, Currency as the Type, Everything Checked with the 213 Display Order, and Currency Code the Search Field. Now let's change the tab name to Invoice Submission Info and the column name to Invoice Details. Then let's add a standard section and title it Vendor Info. In this section we'll add a combo box titled Vendor with Accounting as the System, Vendor as the Type, and the following checked with Vendor Company Name as the Search Field and Display Column. Now we'll add a text field titled Vendor Contact with the following calculated formula. Then another text field, this one titled Vendor Address with the following calculated formula. These formulas will auto-fill the spaces with info on whatever we choose in the combo box above. We'll do the same for city and state, vendor email, and vendor phone. Perfect! Now we'll add a new form titled Items. In here we'll add a text field titled Item Description. Then a number field titled item cost and the field format as number. Now we'll add a query list field titled account. We'll enter the query and connection string as follows. You can get the secure endpoint and sample access database from the download section on our website, or you can use your own database. Next we'll add a list field titled expense type with the following list values. Then we'll add another query list titled item region with the following query and connection string, as well as checking run at endpoint and ODBC. We'll then add the following visibility formula that makes it only show the query list if corporate is selected from the list we created above. Alright, we'll now add our last query list field, this one titled Item Department with the following query, connection string, and visibility formula.
We're done with that form, so let's go back to our invoice form and add a data grid subform section titled line items, uncheck criteria based, select items as the type, check the following with the 1423 display order, and show total checked by item cost. Let's now add a number field in the data grid subform titled invoice total and check calculated formula builder. We'll then add the following formula. Then we'll add a standard section titled processing with visibility set to false. In this section we'll add a text field titled email body with the following calculated formula. Following that, we'll add invoice approved, invoice entered, project manager reviewed, department approver reviewed text fields in that section. Let's now change the invoice details column to 50%. Then we'll add another column and title it administration with 50% width. We'll start by adding a standard section titled project manager info. Then a combo box in the section titled project manager with TRM as the system, contact as the object, and the following checked with full name as the search field. Now we'll add a text field titled name with the following calculated formula that will autofill the field with info on the project manager. We'll do the same for email, department, office, and region. Afterwards, let's add a standard section titled Department Approver and a combo box inside titled Approver Name. We'll choose Accounting as the system, Approver as the type, the following check with name as the search field and display column, and filters on Department and Threshold. Then we'll add a text field titled Approver Email with the following calculated formula. After, we'll add a number field titled Approver Threshold with currency as the field format and the following calculated formula. Now let's add a document management section titled Documents. Below that, we'll add another standard section, this one titled Submission. In the Submission section, let's add a date field titled Date Submitted with Edit Set to False and the Today method as the default value. Let's now add our first button and title it Submit to Project Manager with the following visibility formula. We'll now add some events. First, on click, set value, invoice entered field, and yes in single quotations. Then on click, save an email, email to email, a quick subject, Email body field as the body and include link to record checked. Now we'll add another button, this one titled submit to department approver with the following visibility formula and some events. First, on click, set value, project manager reviewed field and yes in single quotations. Then on click, email to approver email a quick subject and body as well as include link to record checked. Now let's add a new tab and title it Invoice Processing with the following visibility formula. Then let's rename tab column 1 to column. We'll then add a standard section titled Assign. In there, we'll add a combo box titled Assign To with TRM as the system, contact as the object, and the following checked with full name as the search field. Next, let's add a text field titled Assign To Email with the following calculated formula, then an Assign Date text field. We'll then add a button titled Assign with some events. First, on click, Set Value, Assign Date field, and the Today method. Next, on click, 
Save an email, email to assign to email, a quick message, and include link to record checked. Then let's add a standard section titled Approver with the following visibility formula. In the Approval section, we'll add a text field titled Check Number, a text field titled Check Date with Edit Set to False, and finally a button titled Approved Submit Check. On the button, let's add the following events on click, set value, check date field, and the today method. Then on click, set value, invoice approved field, and yes in single quotations. Now let's change the column width to 50% and then add a new column titled new column with the 50% width as well. In the new column, we'll start by adding a standard section titled Processing Info with the following visibility formula. Then we'll add two text fields titled Invoice Process By and Invoice Process Date with both edits set to false. Now let's add the following events to the Approved Submit Check button. On click, Set Value, Invoice Process Date field, and the Today method. On click, Set Value, invoice process by field and the following formula. Then on click, save an email, email to vendor email, a quick message, check number as the field and include link to record checked. We'll now add a standard section titled rejection with the following visibility formula. In this section, we'll start by adding a rejected date text field with edit set to false. Then another text field, this one titled rejected reason with the user mode help. These can be added to other fields as well to help users out when using the app. Now we'll add a button titled reject. Under that, we'll add a standard section titled management with visibility set to false. In the management section, we'll add a text field titled rejected email body with the following calculated formula. Let's now add some events to the reject button. First, on click, save an email, email to the following, add a quick message, rejected email body as the field, and include link to record checked. Then on click, set value, reject the date, and the today method. Now let's close out and start making our views by clicking views, add a new view. Our first view will be titled all invoices with everything checked. The next view will be titled completed invoices with invoice number, payment due date, vendor, invoice total, and check number show and view check. We'll then go back and add the following predefined filter. We'll now add another view, this one titled Invoices Awaiting Project Manager Review with Payment Due Date, Invoice Total, Check Number Show and View Check. We'll save, go back and add Project Manager Review Null Predefined Filter. Now we'll add Invoices in Accounting Queue view with Invoice Number, Payment Due Date, Invoice Total, Project Manager, Assigned To, Assigned To Email Show and View Check. We'll go back and add the following predefined filters. Our last view will be titled Invoices Waiting for Department Approval with Invoice Number, Payment Due Date, Invoice Total, Approver Name, Approver Email Show and View Check. We'll once again save, go back and add the following predefined filters. Perfect! Now let's go back to our invoice form and add some button view events. First to the submit to project manager we'll add on click, go to view, invoices awaiting project manager review. Then to the submit to department approver button we'll add on click, go to view, 
Invoices waiting for department approver. Now we'll add a new button. This one titled Submit to Accounting with the following visibility formula. Then the following events. On click, set value, department approver reviewed field, and yes in single quotations. Then on click, save record. Next, on click, go to view, invoices in accounting queue. Now let's go to the invoice processing tab and add some events to the buttons there. First to the assign button, on click, go to view, invoices in accounting queue. Then to the approved button, on click, go to view, completed invoices. Great, we're all done and have successfully created our Accounts Payable Invoice Processing Workflow application. This is just a brief demonstration of the capabilities of WAG and how it can save great amounts of time and money when creating mobile and desktop apps.